Welcome, Howlers! Today is Sunday, and today is my weed hole. So today we're going to check out what, again, what's in my bag! And guess, I went to Reef again. Now, just to let you guys know, there's an update from the last video I did, and I will be moving to Connecticut starting Wednesday. We'll be traveling from Reno, Nevada, all the way across to Connecticut, all the way across the country to Connecticut. So we went from Florida to Nevada, and Nevada to Connecticut. So, well, throughout, we stopped some places, but this is the thing. We're going to Connecticut, and I found it. it's only a 20-minute drive to Boston, Massachusetts, to where I can get me a... Boom, boom. Legal marijuana. Now, it's decriminalized where I'm going to be staying, but it's legal to buy it only 20 minutes away. So I could still do my weed hauls, but it won't be by my beautiful, beautiful favorite place, Reef. And that's sad because I love Reef. So, Reef, expand. Okay, so today, what I got from my beautiful Reef dispensaries at 195 Glendale Avenue, Sparks, Nevada. Please go visit them. My lovely bud tender of the day extraordinaire is going to be Sierra Ann. So hello, thank you, Sierra Ann. Welcome to the Re family. First time I met you, and I'm glad that you're there, and you're part of a great, great place. Thank you. So let's explain what I got in my bag. Okay, crazy bitch, shut up, right? So right now, we're in the middle of moving and doing all this really crazy stuff, so I'm trying to make sure that I have ample enough marijuana to show you guys on the road. So instead, when I'm on the road, I'll be stopping at legal states and getting stuff and doing reviews on other places and telling you what I'm smoking and what's been going on. So what we're going to do first, I'm going to lock me a little ciggy butt because I've got to get comfortable. And here we go. Today, we're going to start off with um, a 3.5 gram. Today, we are showing you... I don't like when they put the stickers on it. You guys, stop putting stickers on your product. Just some people like it. I don't, but it doesn't matter. Everyone knows I hate plastic, but what we have here is from Tahoe, Hi uh, Tahoe Hydro, okay? Tahoe Hydro, and what they have today is going to be called Kidney Punch. See this? I put my hand behind it. Kidney Punch, okay? And let's listen, learn a little bit about Kidney Punch, shall we? It is 21 THC. Actually has 0 .06 CBD, which means practically nothing, and it has... 3.5 myrcene, 3.5 lime, no, no lime, limine, and the carofinal is only 3.75, so I'm not sure what it's going to be like. I've never had this before. It's a kidney punch, and this one actually cost me, um, I believe, let me check really quick, you guys, because I don't make sure you get the price correctly. I got it on special, probably. Kidney punch for 3.5 grams, which is an eighth of weed, I got for $40, and a discount of, um, and a discount of... 85 cents because you know remember discount so yay for me so i got an eighth for 40 dollars which is pretty decent it's a little pricey for a marijuana but i've never tried this so let's smell it so i don't like them when they put in plastic so i wish the products would go back in glass or a different type of thing and i hope they have a soft pack in here which is basically a piece of tissue wrapped in breathable paper to keep it moist but let's see because everyone knows i don't like plastic because plastic is bad for any kind of natural product that you're using Everyone knows that. Plastic sucks. I wish they stopped using plastic altogether. But that's life. That's life. Everything comes in a plastic box. That's life. Okay, so. Oh, shit. Snooter level three right off the bat. I haven't aerated it, you guys. Whoa. Shits and gigs on me. Look at these fat nugs. Oh, my God. Look at these fat nugs, Betty. Oh, my God. They're so ripe, bro. The crystallines on here. Or bright snow white and the hair it's a very hairy weed it's so orange breaking it in is bright white it's gorgeous smells like a three i'm not sure what the high is going to be with the thc level that it is though with the myrcene the three percent myrcene it's going to be a decent high probably like a three or four but we're not really sure so we're going to move on to the number two product an individual product that I have in my beautiful sexy reef bag is going to be a Grammy as well. And this is a Grammy. This is one gram of orange cake. Now, you guys, is made by Trek. Now, let me tell you guys, I'm going to tell you about orange cake. Orange cake is my favorite weed 
that I've ever had in my life. I would smoke it every day in my life if I wouldn't get used to marijuana like I do when I have to switch my brands. I haven't had orange cake in about, I don't know, six months because they're so low dose. You couldn't get it. So I love orange cake. This is a hive of three and a half stars. And it says it doesn't hurt your throat. So it's like a two throat punch. But the high is like a three and a four. It's euphoric. It just mellows you the fuck out. Get you some orange cake. So let me teach you about orange cake, you guys. And the little sticker fell off. And I don't want that to happen because I want y'all to know what's going on with the orange cake. Uh, because it's one of my favorite freaking products. Here it is. Orange cake, you guys. So this, remember, all plants are different. It's 17 THC and 7 myrcene. 7 myrcene means hella pain relief. And 4.2 carafinolin is going to be a hell of a throat punch. So thank you, orange cake. I love you. My favorite weed Always, always, always. It's not the weed of the week. And the reason it's not the weed of the week is because I've had it so many times. And I'm just showing you beautiful people this beautiful marijuana on inspection. Oh, my God. It smells like tangerine cake. It's like cake. And this dark black, black nugs. This is one of the blacker, darker green weeds that we have. Look at this fat nug, Betty. Fat nugs, Betty. Beautiful. And this comes with a soft pack. And now I noticed on my... um. My bag that I've got right here of the punch does not have a soft pack in it. And since this is already in glass, I'm going to take the soft pack out of this glass and put it in here. So my plastic shit doesn't taste like garbage or get moldy or too dry. Got what I'm saying? Okay. So I just did that a little switcheroo. So orange, go get you some orange cake. You will not regret orange cake. It's one of my favorite marijuanas ever to smoke. Moving on to number, our number three. Okay, so number three is another Grammy. It, I've never tried this before. This is new. This is made by Reef Dispensaries and packaged by Reef Dispensaries, I would suppose. And it is called Kush Master. Okay. Oh, shit. Does that smell nice? This smells like peanuts. It smells like going to a bar and you got that bowl of Spanish peanuts and they have that yummy smell. It smells like peanuts. It does have a soft pack inside. It's very small nugs, you guys. Very, but they're very plump. And smell factor is like a two, but I haven't aerated. I haven't smoked this yet. So I will tell you later how good this is because I haven't done my review yet. I'm just showing you what's in my bag. So that is good. So let's talk about Master Kush. The Kush Master, excuse me. Kush Master is made by Reef Dispensaries. And it's got a 25 THC level and a four myrcene, which means pain relief. And care finally is 2.8, uh, 2.86, which means it's going to be hell of a throw punch. Well, I mean, I mean... Is 2.12, which means it might be decent. So smelling it's not air rated, it's two or three. I don't know anything else is because I haven't tried it, you guys. So I will tell you, of course, later when they go to try that. So moving on to, that was my three, correct? Okay, moving on. And those are my two Grammys, correct? Yes. Now we're moving on to pre-rolls. So I got three more pre-rolls to show you today. Okay, and this first pre-roll coming up, these are new. This one is made, by, it's called Unicorn Poop, and it's made by Taiho, uh, Taho Hydro, I believe, yeah, Taho Hydro, and it's called Unicorn Poop, and I've never tried this before, so let's learn about it, okay? Unicorn Poop by Taho Hydro, let's see what's about it. Let's learn about Unicorn Poop, you guys. So, the THC is 22, Wah! no mirror scene, but with the 22 THC, oh my God, and the Cara finally is 6.9, it's going to be a hell of a throat punch. Let's smell this. So as you can see, I'm taking out of the plastic wrapper. They pre-wrap them when it comes to Tahoe. Any place in California and a couple other places, they tech to um, pre-package them with classic, um, with a wrap like this for um, seal protection, which I get, but I really fucking hate that. But it's just more plastic. You know that. Oh, shit. Oh, look at this. Look at it. Milana. Okay, Milana is the one who packed that. Wow, I don't know what it looks like, you guys, but it smells pleasant. You know what it smells like? Strawberries and dirt and strawberries. I love the smell of earth and dirt. So this smells like Miracle Girl and strawberries. I can't wait to actually try unicorn poop, so I'm excited. So I haven't decided what my weed of the week is going to be, and I'm going to tell you what the weed of the week is when I'm done with my stuff. It's probably going to be unicorn poop, but we're not really sure. So let's try it on. Moving on to number. Okay, so I had a doot, doot, doot. This is four. Moving on to five. Okay, so number five of the week is, uh, is going to be um, Somerset OG X Melonade. Now, that means it's OG and it's a cross from It's also made by um, Tahoe Hydro. But what I don't understand is this one doesn't have an actual plastic reservoir holder seal. So I wonder if it's been opened, but I doubt it. Okay, so this one is called Somerset OG Melonade. Let's, let's inspect. Let's inspect. Let's inspect. Oh, my God. 
It smells like can. It's also by Milana. Do you know what's cool about this? Like, for real? Like, for... Wait a minute. Is that the correct one? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so here. So, okay, it's... Okay. Somerset OG is going to be airport... Oh my gosh, you guys. It's a 21 THC. It's a mar Maracine is 4.1, and the Cara finally is 8.4. So, basically, it's going to be a hella, hella, hella hit. I am super excited. It smells kind of... Like cantaloupes, but we have an aerator, anything like that. Okay. Last step on our list is going to be Dog Valley. And as you know, every Dog Valley plant is different, but I've got a pre-roll in Dog Valley. And you know it's a 5 out of 5 out of 5. Dog Valley will be 555 five, five for me. And it has a mirror of 60. It's the highest mirror they had in the store. And the Carafile is going to be 2, so the real point is not going to be so bad. But it's a 20 THC and a 16 mirror This is called Beyond Fucking Pain Relief. This is what you're going to get. Now, let's see if it's a tight fucking roll. We're hitting 10 minutes. Tight fucking roll. Nice see-through paper. It's a waxy paper. It's a loose roll, so it means it won't burn that bad. So it's a decent waxy raw track paper. And it smells good. It has almost no smell to it, so we're not really sure. So you guys, I'm going to go and find one, smoke it, and give you my fucking reviews. I love you, and peace and hair grease on your next set. Keep your cheeks like jelly meatloaf. I'll be back at two shakes of a lamb's tail. Welcome back, Hollis. Okay, I have taken at least three hits off of my weed of the day, which is Unicorn Poop by Taho, ha Taho Hydro. That's out of country. Taho Hydro. Okay. There is no static. There's no throat punch, you guys. I'm talking like smoking a fine wine. No cough. It's thin, even though I don't like wine. It grosses me out. The smell is a two. The throw punch is a one star. So one star on throat static. Um, the smell level on this is only a two. It's not such a sticky weed, but it's supposed to be super high. I don't know what the high level is because I'm smoking it here with you. You know, my pigtails didn't do right today, you guys. Ugh. If you're one of those people who can do like those perfect pigtails, let me know what you're doing because I can't fucking do it. I suck at pigtails, you guys. And I usually put little clippies back here to secure the cute little twist. But guess what? We're moving and I don't know where the fuck they are. I'll find them. I've been cleaning everything up. See, we live in hotel rooms and suites. We don't actually live in apartment buildings. And everyone's like, oh my God, how can you do that? Do you want to know why we do that? Because you bank money, sister. Where we're going is in Connecticut and we're going to be working for, um, well, I'm not working, of course. My, my husband is going to be working for airplanes because he builds airplanes for a living. He's an aircraft mechanic, level three specialist, which means he's been doing it for a certain amount of years, whatever. Anyways, that is my my husband's job. So we travel around the country. So we were in Florida and we were together. And then we moved to Oklahoma and that lasted about nine months. And then we moved to Arizona that lasted almost three, three months. And then from Arizona, we drove all the way through to come to Nevada to come to Reno. And we worked here for eight months, almost nine months as well. Excuse me, the allergies I have here. It's We just cleaned the car out and I had this... Mr. Clean smell in my car, you guys. Oops. My e-cigarettes. Okay. And it's like a Mr. Clean. Ooh, it's kind of strong today. It's very strong. Anyways, um, so confused right now, you guys. I can't find my pipe. I'm so high. Whoa, found it. Okay. Um, dude. Okay, three hits. It's smooth as a who cares? It's Nobody cares. It's hair, right? Whatever. People are just like shaving their heads now. The high level is going to be about a four. I wouldn't say five because I, I don't know if I also tell you about how Road Dog. Road Dog is awesome as fuck and that'll fuck you up. And that's for like if you really want to conk out. But I wanted to be, I wanted to feel, God, it's so Mr. Clean. It's so lemony in here. And I love lemons, but it's like a toxic -y lemony. <sighs> It's strong. Wait, roll the window down. That's probably why, because the windows aren't really rolled down. It's too hot today, and I didn't want too much shade, because you can't see my my leaves. And oh my god. Okay, so unrolling it. Let me show you what I was talking about, you guys. When I don't smoke out of paper, so I enroll my pre rolls and I put them in my beautiful um, dank finest or dank grinders or whatever grinder I have at the moment, because I like catch grinders. 
it was so hard to get out of the pre-roll because it was so moist, which is a A+. Plus. Okay, yeah, moist weed, A+. Plus. You don't want it soaking wet because you can't smoke it, but you don't want it so dry that it just turns into paper and tastes like shit, right? It's like tasting air. Dude, it's such a pleasant thing. It's like eating fucking crackers with a pleasant floral spread, okay? Like, it's so delish. And it's almost like you want to call somebody out and say, come try this with me, man. It's such a delight to try. So Unicorn Poop is going to be a four out of five stars for a high because it's already got me wasted. And can you see my eyes? Like everyone knows that I do these weird things with my eyes. My eyes go different directions. I can't really roll them in one direction. That is my weird, stupid human trick. It's like, okay, I have two stupid human tricks. I, if I read it, I can do it. Like if I, I'm autodidact, autodidact, so autodidact so basically what i do is um if i see somebody doing it i can copy them uh, if i hear them singing something i can copy them i don't have my own voice things like that i can do things that other people can do without doing them before only if i've done it now there's a lot of things i don't know about see i like to try things so i can get it right but let me tell you something this is crazy there's one thing i have in this cultivation i want to make my I want to get my own seeds and I want to make my own breeds and I want to do my own crossbreeding I want to do stuff like that but I have to be in a total legal state and in a place that's my own property I can't do that because of where we live so we live in hotel rooms and I never smoke in my hotel rooms because that's disgusting and it's just wrong and you can't do that and it's illegal don't do that keep it green keep it legal can we say correct don't do that so the thing is is that I go out into the woods or I'll go out to the mountain or I'll go out to an area that is not super public and it's legal out here to be recreational people smoking in the parks outside i do not i kind of find shelter or go hang out with somebody who has it and do it secretly because i'm not stupid i want to keep the right to smoke marijuana so i want to keep it legal keep green keep it safe and keep it hidden where you're supposed to put it in a lock box just in case keep it out of reach of children even if they're 17 or 18 you got to keep it out of there till they're 21 you got to keep it out of reach of anybody who can get a hold of it you know lock box that shit up be smart don't be stupid don't be stupid and get in trouble when you get in trouble you take all our rights away who wants to take away our rewrites if you take away my rewrites i'm coming after you okay you t you we had to fight so hard to get these weed rights don't take them away you guys don't take them away so let's keep going and i'll show you exactly how easy the hit is i am smoking today i have a glass bio stick that is not really that dirty but it looks that dirty because that's how much i smoke a day yeah it's crazy sierra asked me what are you doing for the rest of the day i'm buying marijuana and she doesn't know me, but the other girls and guys, they know me because they've seen me come in like over and over and over again. Because I come in more than once a week sometimes. And I always like, but this is the thing. Sierra, it's so cute because I walked in there, she's so adorable and it was so funny. She's tall. I feel so short because I'm only 5'4", but then I find people who are like 5 foot and I'm like so much taller than them and I feel like a giant. And then you get these gorgeous like Amazon women that work in Reef. Like you have like four or five late, I don't know what to call them, women, females, whatever you work. I'll say the female gender that say they're female gender. I don't want to be rude to anyone's um, gender. Y'all know that on my, on my show that... My show, my rants and raves, everything that I do, I am LGBTQA friendly, and I say it properly because I identify as asexual. And yes, I fucked my husband. Okay, asexuals do that, and I'm going to do a whole special on asexuality to where we stop pushing us out of the LGBT community because you put you have L G B T question mark. Put A's in there, too. We are a sexuality as well. Pretty soon, we won't have any labels, and no one will have to worry about sexuality. Hi, my name's Heather. I'm 39 years old. I like to do this. I smoke weed. I don't drink. I don't pop pills. I like to go mountain hiking, climb mountain. I want to go do... I'm too high to even tell you what I like to do because I like to do everything. I like to play sports. I like to... Um, watch television. I like to play video games. Yes, I play. I'm not like a freak, but oh man, I'll whoop your ass in some Street Fighter, some Tekken, and shit. I'll whoop your ass. But I'm talking about like PlayStation shit. Yeah, I'm a PlayStation girl. Um, I love Nintendo games. I was raised on that shit. So I'm a little different. Every girl's different, but stop. I don't know what I'm talking about, you guys. I'm high. Unicorn poop. Okay, it's a four out of five. It's not a five because it's not obliterating me to where I'm like, you know, I mean, like crickets. <laughs> crickets no um i don't get obliterated anymore i'm like not a lightweight anymore well compared to snoop dog i'm pretty sure i'm a lightweight okay you'd be like this white bitch can't do shit i'd be like snoop i can't not with your shit his shit's probably and then he'll light another one and then he'll light another one and then he'll light another one and i'm like 
No. I know people like that. I can't. I can't. I have to be coherent for everything I do. Coherent for my child. Coherent for my animals. Coherent for my husband. Coherent for my own body. Coherent for bills. You know? Unicorn poop is a very, very, very pleasant weed. I'm going to show it to you again, you guys, so you can see the beautiful, um, um, right here, because it's in my dinosaur bag. It is a white tube, and it says unicorn poop on it. Can you read that? Wait, is that upside? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to edit. Now you can read it. Unicorn poop from Tahoe Hydro. And I like it. Oh my god, I did. You guys, I'm feeling kind of spider monkey ish. I'm spider monkey ish. Am I doing it? It's amazing! Okay, my reviews are so stupid. Okay. There's this guy that I followed. Oh my gosh, he's a really, I, I don't know if he's in Georgia. I don't know where he is. It's I don't know where he goes and gets it. But he does reviews. And I was, I subscribed to him when he had very little subscribers. And he is very cool. And that guy, he makes like mason jar stuff. Like he made a mason jar bong and things like that. But he's really, really cool. So go check him out. I'm actually subscribed to him. So if you can see what I'm subscribed to, I've seen some really cool people. So I'm going to give Unicorn Poop a 4 out of 5 stars for everything. Static of 1. Smell a 2. So everyone, I love you. And I will see you as soon as possible. And I should have hit Reef one more time before I leave for Connecticut. And keep it green. Keep it legal. Keep it safe. And I will see you on the flip side. Um, sorry. We had some drama happen a little while ago. Um... Also, um, thank you for watching my channel. Subscribe. Say hi, like, link, pictures, whatever you want to do. And um, I can't think of my thing. I always just say. Stay safe. Oh, you said that. No. It's the, it's the cheeks tight one. Yeah. Peace and hair grease on your neck sack. Keep your cheeks tight. Don't let your meat live. I'm sorry. Family drama kind of had to step in here and <sighs> have to end my video with a little bit of strength. So I love you guys. Thank you. And I will see y'all soon.